Yo, what's up trainers? Sam here, bringing you another exciting episode, but this time with a Mew tutorial. A lot of you guys requested this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it and learn a thing or two. Today we're going to take a closer look at Mew, one of the most versatile and unique Pokemon in the game. In this video, we'll go over Mew's itemization, moveset, playstyle, and some tips and tricks to help you dominate the battlefield with this agile and unpredictable Pokemon. So let's start with the battle items. Mew's battle item is pretty default as well as his held items. The only real option for Mew is eject button because it provides extra mobility and escape for him. The only substitute I can see that is possibly good is full heal if you're up against let's say Urshifu and when he unites you, you can full heal it. But I highly recommend to stick with eject button and get used to using it for aggressive engages or disengages. For held items, I run Wise Glasses, Choice Specs, and Slick Spoon. After the Spoon came out, it's one of the best slotted items because of the penetration it gives you. There's really no substitute for these items. This gives Mew max amount of damage. For the emblems, I don't want to get too into the emblems, but this is what I use. You guys can probably min-max other emblems, but in tournament draft, you can't even use them. Let's start by taking a look at Mew's moveset. Mew has 7 moves which its own unique effects and uses. But before the moves, let's just start with his basic auto attacks. Each time Mew uses a move, it gains a boost counter, and it stores 3 counters. After the 3 boost counters are stored, Mew's next basic auto becomes a boosted auto and changes into some sort of psychic energy ball. The further the ball travels, the more damage it does, but there is a cap to how much damage it can even go. So if you're across the whole entire map somehow after you threw your auto attack, it's still going to only do an X amount of damage. Synchronize is Mew's passive, where every time Mew uses a move around a nearby allies, they get a movement speed increase for a short time. Also, this move allows Mew to, when he reaches level 5, he gets the move set reset icon, which can be used to reset Mew's moves and learn new ones. This is Mew's signature and unique move that showcases how good a Mew player is when switching between moves. And every time you knock a Pokemon out or assist in doing so, you can get or even scoring a goal, it reduces the move reset cooldown. So also when you're using move reset, it reduces the cooldown of Mew's Unite move, which a lot of people probably didn't even know that. In the beginning of the game, you have three moves you can run, Electro Ball, Solar Beam, and Surf. I'm going to focus solely as a Mew jungle. Usually people play Mew in the lane because of how dominant he is with Secures, but since my current role in competitive Pokemon Unite is jungle, I'm going to showcase you what I do in the jungle. But let's start with Electro Ball, or as people would say, E-Ball. It deals damage to enemies in an AoE and leaves them slowed for roughly 2 seconds. This move deals more damage when the lower the enemy's remaining HP is. There is a cap to how much damage this does on wild Pokemon. Also E-Ball does more damage when it's hurled through light screen, which I'll later talk about. This is one of the few Mew's bread and butter combo moves. It has a great secure and does high burst damage. Mew's next move is Solar Beam. It fires a beam and does 3 ticks of AoE damage. If the move hits an enemy, Mew gains an additional boost counter for his auto attacks. This move when it goes through light screen, it does more damage and the AoE is increased. And at level 10 it reduces the move cooldown for each enemy hit. So if you hit a massive Solar Beam, you're going to constantly have this up in team fights. Surf is Mew's final damage move. Mew charges forward on a wave and shoving enemies. Mew also gains a shield when doing this. After the wave is completed, Mew can jump into any designated direction and become immune to hindrance for a short duration. If this move hits an enemy, Mew also gets an additional boost to counter. This can also go through a light screen, which goes through the wave and light screen attaches to Mew afterwards. I would not recommend using this as a starting move in a fight, but we'll get more into that. Now let's talk about Mew's other three utility moves, coaching, light screen, and agility. Coaching is honestly not used enough. It allows you to teleport to an ally to give them a shield and increase their attack speed. And if coaching is used on an ally who hasn't been coached within the 7 seconds, the CD of this move is reduced by 90%. 
Also, your cooldown of E-Ball, Solar Beam, and Surf are reduced by 1 second for each time this move is used. Light Screen is one of Mew's best moves. Even though it doesn't do damage, it helps increase damage or benefits all the other damage moves in some sort of way. It also negates 25% damage from enemies attacking it up front. Or through it, or should I say. It, sh it is such a good move for Mew, and if used correctly, you can basically be unstoppable. Agility is another move that is utilized a lot. It allows Mew to dash around and increase Mew's move speed for a short duration. Mew can also hold two agilities in reserve. This allows Mew to be so agile and annoying, giving so much mobility. This is going to be another bread and butter move for Mew. And lastly, Mystical Mirage, or his Un Unite for short. This is Mew's way of getting out of dangerous situations. And you gotta float around the air and become invincible and invisible. After the fuel expires, it deals damage to enemies in an AoE. Now that we talked about Mew's move sets, let's cover how to play Mew effectively. Mew is a highly versatile Pokemon that can fill many roles on the battlefield. The Electro Ball move is great for slowing down enemies and a great single target move at setting up combos with your teammates. While its agility move allows it to quickly move around the battlefield and dodge attacks and reposition, Mew's light screen is also a very valuable tool, especially when facing enemy Pokemon that rely heavily on burst because it reduces damage if they hit you in the front of the screen. And when it comes to dealing damage, Mew's Solar Beam move is a devastating option that can take out enemies in a single shot. Mew's Surf move is also really good for it. such a great escape tool if you don't have your Unite as well. Here are some of the combos that I personally use when I'm playing Mew. Solar Beam plus Light Screen is one of the Mew's bread and butter combos for long distance AoE damage. You need to be using this in the start of every fight. This is great to help relieve pressure for your defenders and supporters because you need to apply so much pressure from it. It's great for securing objectives from afar as well if your team just can't get to them. But I won't say it's the best secure though. The next combo I want to talk about is E-Ball plus Agility. This is another bread and butter combo for Mew. This provides a lot of skirmish potential, this gives Mew mobility, and E-Ball is a great harassment tool. When you are roaming around the map, you should have this move set ready in case you get caught or need to get out of situations fast. You can also use Surf plus Agility when you are moving around the map as well. But when you do this, please you have to have your E-Ball or Solar Beam ready for when you do actually get into a team fight. Some more advanced combos is using Coaching plus E-Ball. This gives you so much burst damage because if you're near enemy, or if you're actually near allies, you can keep resetting the E-Ball cooldown. But the one issue with this, if you get out of position in doing this, you have to be extremely careful when running this. The best secure combo is E-Ball, Light Screen, Boosted Auto Attack, plus Unite. If you master this, you're probably the best Mew in the game. Here's my jungle clear from Mew. This is the most optimal path to gank top. To the same gank, if you want to do the same gank for bottom, you just need to start red instead of blue. And now that you know the items to pick, combos, playstyles, and some tips and tricks, you guys are ready to go out there and dominate the battlefield. Here is a gameplay of me playing Mew for you to see how to truly carry with Mew. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and hit that bell icon to get notified when these videos will be up.
bigger screen is so different, man. It's literally so different. Should have not been late for that. Yo, playing on the bigger screen is really so different. Not on the OBS one anymore. Delphox in there. Yeah, I'm going to 
schlafen. Fuge are broken? No, I don't think so. Why do I think I could ult while I was in that? Oh my god! What? That's why that fool plays freaking Machamp! Johan built different when he's on the chain. Apple is built different. <laughs> 